Hey Blackwell, it's Allie. Hey Blackwell. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hi. Hello. My name is Kinsley. Now I'm so proud. <laughs> hey Blackwell. Hey everyone. Hi everybody. Hey Blackwell friends and family. Hi. Hi everybody. Hi. Hey Blackwell. Hey guys. I'm looking forward to the service on Sunday. I know you are too. Hi, I miss everybody at church. So hopefully, you, I hope you, I miss you and I hope you never get the sickness going problem going around. Oh, we miss you. Miss you guys a ton. We love you and hopefully we see you soon, real soon. Be safe. We miss you. We love you. Can't wait till we can get back together. We miss you guys. Hope to see you all soon. We love you. We miss you. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. Love, love you. Love you. Bye. We miss you. We love you. Bye. 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 Do you miss anybody, Grace? <laughs> yeah. Look at this is baby Gabe. He's getting huge, guys. Yeah, he's getting so huge. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 We love and miss you very much. Can't wait to see you soon. We love you all and we'll miss you. We can't wait to be back with y'all. I love and miss you guys so much and I can't wait to see y'all again. Yeah. Say we I miss you. I Say we love you. Yeah, awful. Awful. We can't wait to be back in church with all of you. We're praying for you. We hope you're all staying safe. Love you guys. Can't wait to be back to worship. Bye bye. I just want to let you guys know that I love and miss you guys so much, and I cannot wait to see your guys' beautiful faces again. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there and staying positive. I hope you have a wonderful day. Can't wait to see you. I just wanted to say how much I missed everyone, miss seeing everyone and being there. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and doing well. Until we meet each other again, God bless you all. Bring your Holy Ghost. Let's have a Holy Ghost good time. We miss you. We can't wait to be back in church. It'll be nice when we can all be in the same building again. Look what we got this week. He was born yesterday about one o'clock in the afternoon. He's a little premature, so we're having to Give him a little special treatment, but I think he's liking that special treatment. What do you think? <laughs> he's kind of in a milk coma. <laughs> Say hi, Humphrey. <laughs> Bye, Blackwell. We love you. We miss you. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, hopefully, we'll be back in church soon so we can all be together and worship and, and everything. We love you and miss you. Miss you guys. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to be back and see all of you guys. We're uh, excited to get back to church and to see everyone and worship with everybody. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye. See you guys soon. Bye. 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 impression team we're saying hey hi we love you we miss you guys so much can't wait to be back to church with everybody uh we love the uh, drive-in church service that was great uh you got something to say hey this is bmc mcdanny i'm a greeter at blackwell's i hope you're all doing all right and i miss y'all and see you soon caleb we gotta get our greeting on love you guys hope to see you soon bye Hey Chad, it's time to do the video. <laughs>
shadow you won't light up The mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me
Praise the Lord, Blackwell. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, can we? Right where you're at, bow down, kneel down, whatever. We're going to take us a moment for a season of prayer. Father, we give thanks to you. We know you do great and marvelous things. Lord, you have blessed us. Oh, we have been so encouraged and helped. Lord, we're thankful for this beautiful day. Thankful, God, that you're blessing this wonderful group of people. Lord, I'm hearing good things out of them. We're thankful, Lord, that we've not been touched uh, with, with death from COVID-19, and we've not been touched uh, very much by, by the sickness of it. We're grateful, Lord, you've been merciful to us. You have shown compassion and strength. We've even seen miracles where the elderly have had it and have recovered. We're grateful, Lord, that you're doing wonderful things. The kingdom of God is alive, well, strong, and great. We're grateful, Lord, for all you've done. We're, we're looking to you, the Savior, the King, the leader, Lord, to guide us and direct us, Lord, through this horrible time. Lord, when so many are worried, so many are troubled, Lord, we're looking to you to put our faith and hope and help. Lord, we're calling on your precious name, the precious name of Jesus. We know you do wondrous things. You do great and mighty things. There's no one like my God. I praise you, Lord. Open our understanding tonight as we go to the word of the Lord. I pray the word God comes alive in each one of us. Lord Jesus, that you will speak, Lord, into this community of believers, Lord. You will speak, Lord, in these that have gathered with us, Lord, that our eyes would be opened to see what the Lord has for his people. I pray encouragement, strength, and blessing, Lord. I declare it in the homes of God. I declare it in our work and everything we put our hands to do. Lord, I pray, God, that in our pastime, we are, we are, uh, we are faithful to the kingdom of God. And in our work time, we are faithful to the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus, that we are following after our Savior, looking to the King of kings and Lord of lords for our direction. Hallelujah. Keeping our eyes up, looking for the redemption that draweth nigh. We're believing, O oh God, great things are happening. The moving of the Spirit is happening. The wind is a-blowing. Hallelujah. Oh, the Spirit will go where it lists. Lord, I believe, oh Lord, you are moving with compassion, going into homes you've never been in before, never been allowed to go into. You're going into hearts of God that are hungry for you, that are desiring understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. I plead the blood, oh God, I plead the blood. Oh Lord, open our understanding. Let the word of God come alive in them tonight. Let the word of God come alive in all of us. In the name of Jesus, oh, I plead your blood. I seek your favor. I seek your face. Lord Jesus, bring healing, deliverance, peace, and comfort. Bring the power of God alive in our decisions, in all that we say and do, in our portfolios, in, in our finances, in our work, Lord. I'm pleading the blood, God. We need an intervention of the Most High on these, on these uh, meat preparation companies uh, that the, these that are sick, the multitudes that are sick, and some have even died. Lord, I plead the blood, Lord, that they will be recovered. We'll find the solutions to this situation. Lord, you will minister, Lord, in, their, in those that are sick, and they'll have swift recovery. We're praying, God, for a vaccine that will come quickly. The church is declaring the Most High with all his knowledge will release it into those that are studying the need in the name of Jesus, that this obstacle will no longer be in the pathway of the church, that we will go forward, Lord, that we will go, Lord, with prosperity, strength, victory, power, purpose, Lord, the great things will happen in the kingdom of God. We will seek you, Lord, for your directive. Lord, we are, we are an army. We're an army, hallelujah, ready to do the will of God, ready to walk in the will of God, ready to, to lead and bless others to you, Lord. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. Oh God, would you stir, would you stir that person watching tonight? Would you stir that person's heart, oh God, that's hungry for you tonight? Lord, would you stir black well, God, would you move with compassion and strength? Lord, will you open our eyes, oh God, as we're singing our songs, as we're giving our offerings, Lord, that we're faithful in the King. 
kingdom. Lord, that we've got a hunger and a desire to get back to the to the corporate worship, Lord, that we can all come together and worship together in community. Lord, I'm trusting you, oh God, to move in a mighty, mighty way. I plead the blood, Lord. I plead the blood. I pray for every mother, God, as we come to that point to separate, uh, to celebrate our mothers. We're grateful, Lord. I'm thankful for the memory of my mother and my mother-in-law. I'm grateful, Lord, for my grandmother. Lord, I'm grateful that you're working, Lord, and in the families, Lord, that they prayed for and, and loved. I'm thankful for that in the name of Jesus. But I'm trusting and believing you, Lord, for my wife, my mother and my children to be blessed, for Tara, mother of my grandchild to be blessed. I'm trusting you, oh God, to move and bring blessing across the congregation of the righteous, Lord, as their mothers, Lord, that are nurturing their children. Hallelujah. Some are having to stay home from their jobs and, and nurture and, and minister to their kids, even teach their kids for the first time. I pray, Lord, that they will, they will have uh, great strength to do that, that they're up to the task. Lord, they're a willing heart, God, for that precious promise that is set before them and their children. May they be blessed, increased, and strengthened. I pray for every father, Lord, that will have a heart after you, a desire after you, a willingness to follow after you. Lord Jesus, I plead the blood. I seek your favor. I call upon your holy name. There is none other. Hallelujah. You are righteous, faithful, and good, full of grace and truth. There is no one like my Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. May you work a great and mighty work. May you stir in our spirits and in our minds, oh God. I'm pleading the blood. I'm pleading the blood. I'm pleading the blood. Hallelujah. For the Redeemer, he, he's able. Hallelujah. My God. He's able. Hallelujah. You're standing in the gap for your people, Lord. There's authority, power, and strength in your arm, oh God. Hallelujah. Put your hand in our situations. Speak, Lord, in our lives. Encourage our families. Speak, Lord, in our situations. I'm pleading the blood, God, that you're over every decision. Oh, Lord, would you bring a blessing, oh, Lord, that, that till we come back together, that we are blessed, increased, strengthened, have enduring power, God, to overcome the sickness, overcome the virus in the name of Jesus. Let the virus of laziness not get a hold of us, Lord, but let us be stirred with purpose, with hunger, with a desire. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did you feel the power of God in that prayer? Thanks, Jesus. Not because I prayed it. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Because that prayer didn't, didn't do anything across that line that you're watching, it, whether it's wireless or, or through a cable line or whatever. But the Holy Ghost came to you on your time. You may be watching this hours after I actually did it. And and you're feeling the presence of God. Why? Because you have agreed with someone. You're, you're agreeing when you're praying for your family. You're agreeing with uh, mothers that have gone on, grandmothers that have gone on, and grandfathers and pastors that have prayed prayers that are no longer living or no longer associated with your life. There, there, are, there are lots of ways that that prayer is working. Those, those prayers are are being bottled up as a in a reservoir as a uh, with a vapor of smoke coming off of them that's like a sweet smelling savor under the Lord. I'm telling you, God is doing something great in your life, in my life, in the church as a whole. Hallelujah! God is doing something great here on earth. God is stirring, blessing, helping. I want you to know He don't hate you. He doesn't have a vendetta against you. He loves you. He's He's thirsty to bless you. He wants to bring uh, encouragement and, and anointing in your life. Oh, my lands, what a mighty God. Hallelujah. I'm so, whew, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Aren't you blessed? I'm blessed today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to share with you something that has something to do with what, where we're at. I, I, I've connected with it and encourages me. I Psalm 126, it says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Can you imagine when we're going to be walking through the building again? When we're going to be opening up 
this and that and doing song and worship together and, and being able to gather and talk and see each other face to face. Praise the Lord. Um, when our mouth then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing, then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for them. Praise the Lord. Your life is being a testimony right now. Praise God by the way that you're, uh, by the way you're presenting yourself. If you're always presenting yourself as doom and gloom and despair and conspiracy and, and discouragement and, and man, I'm broke, I'm shattered, my life is a disappointment, then you're a testimony that God is not able and God is a discouragement. But if you're a you're one that is saying, "Hey, I'm trusting God. God's going to see us through. God's going to do great things. God's been a blessing to me. I've not lost my faith. I've not lost my hope. Praise God. I, I've been through tougher times than this. I, I stopped by the bank, and uh, Miss Lane is such a sweet lady, and and uh, her husband, uh, her first husband was a minister, and. And I had stopped by and I said, hey, Lane, how you doing? She, uh, she said, I'm doing great. I said, oh, how, how you doing with all this coronavirus stuff? She says, oh, I've been through harder things than this. Praise God. And, and yes, we've been through harder things than this. Praise God. And we may go through harder than this. But whatever we go through, we will not go through it alone. No, we will not be alone. <laughs> the old song says, never alone, no, never alone. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. <laughs> no, never alone, no, never alone. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. <laughs> that's a good song. <laughs> Hallelujah, that's a good song. Praise God. Praise God. Turning to the word of the Lord. Praise God, Blackwell. Hallelujah, aren't you? <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. It got good. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Oh, to the Lord be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. As in 126, 137 is another a psalm about being in captivity. and says, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Praise God. And Zion's always a type of the church. Zion being the, the hills of Zion. It's, it's the area of Jerusalem. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How long will we sing the Lord's song in this strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. Isn't God good? I'd like to preach to you today a required song. A required song. Thank you, Jesus. There by the rivers of Babylon set we. This is the way the scriptures put it. <laughs> Here we were, sat by the rivers of Babylon. And we wept. We wept when we remembered Zion. The Babylonian taskmasters would say, Hey, sing us one of them there Zion songs. One of them, one of them happy church songs. You know, uh, uh, it's kind of a, it's a um, minor key and they, they kick their legs and I can't, man, I had the song and I forgot it already. Um, Babylonian taskmasters would hire, holler out, play us a song, one of those Hebrew songs, when you all dance. I didn't say that, but I guarantee you they weren't looking for a song that made them cry. They were looking for a song that made them dance. Not them, made Israel dance. They, they wanted that upbeat, mirthy sound. And a lot of these men, um, being Babylonian, very well were away from their homes. They were taken possibly as young men from other countries or maybe even their own children. See, Babylon had a way of taking people from countries and uh, nationalizing them, take them back to Babylon. When they were little, take them away from Babylon, away from their homeland, bring them into Babylon and say, hey, work for us. Just start a new life. You're no longer Hebrew. You're Babylonian. No longer... Uh, whatever you were, you're now going to be part of us. So we want you to uh, become a part of us and just kind of blend in. And uh, Israel would never do that. When, da when Daniel was taken into captivity, they wanted them to eat the king's meat, which would have been who knows what it was. I'm sure it was good, probably very tasty, very spicy in different ways and, and uh, different things. Uh, but Daniel said, oh, I've never ate stuff like that before. And I've got to, you know, the Lord wouldn't want me to eat that. And something, the way he presented it, allowed them to make that, that change so that he could just eat the pulse or the vegetable mel mel melody. Um, and so they did that and they were, they were fatter and fleshier than faring better than those that didn't. And so um, they continue to eat uh, what, what would be pleasing to the Lord in those days. He said, they that wasted us. They required a song of us. Uh, and they required of us mirth. A song to make them happy. A song uh, to make them free. A song that uh, would put a little life into the area. Make the work a little lighter. Let's do this. And so they would have their harps there but they would hang them on the willow. Now, the willow was a weeping willow, if you would, uh, is the way it's described to us. The willow tree is, it comes out of its limbs, hang long and, and like that. Now, assuming that's the same sort of tree with the translation, but that's the way we see it. That's the way we, we gather it in our minds in English. So we're, uh, we're seeing a willow tree and they're hanging that harp on that tree. And, there are two ways to look at that. It's to say, okay, I hung my harp away because I'm not playing the song. But the fact was, is they wanted them to play the song. So apparently while they're working, they hung their harp there so they could readily grab the harp to play the song. But either way, it was a song that didn't belong where it was. It was out of place. Um, it was. Uh, it would make them sad instead of joyful. It. It. It didn't have 
the joyous beat with it. Um, I'm sure that they weren't singing about how they killed their uh, captors or how they destroyed their enemies. Those were, weren't the songs they were looking for them to sing or play. Unless they could do it in Hebrew and the, and the other people couldn't figure that one out. That may have been the case. But um, the question was, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? How can we sing this wondrous song being in captivity? How can we be bound with these chains, with this unable to go to our home and and the land meant something to them um, it, it had it possession meant something to them and so we can get this mindset uh, in difficult times uh, we can think we are held up locked away, we're bound in fear, bound by what ifs or anxiety, held hostage by boredom, slaves to unemployment or underemployment or even stimulus checks, when am I going to get it, man, when am I going to get another one, what, what's, what's going to happen good here? There's a gallery of voices all around us. Uh, there's, there's Fox News and CNN and MSN and Apple and Google News. And uh, there's the corona updates by the governor and by the president. And, and uh, there's, there's always the other side doing their thing. If you, listen, you ever listen to the governor on, uh, online, people will comment, He's saying stuff and he's trying to encourage people and, and the comments are just horrendous, just despicable that somebody would say things about a leader like they were. We get, we get flakes and we get fakes. <laughs> They're just everywhere. There's, there's all kinds of people uh, tearing down and knocking down and, and questioning everything and discouraging everybody. Um, you got YouTubers with conspiracies and positive thinkers and false doctrine preachers, weight loss uh, specialists and uh, workout gurus. There's closet organizers, uh, makeup artists. There's a gallery of voices out there just saying, join us, just join us. Just come in and just blend in with what we are and become who we are and make your song meaningless. Make your song meaningless. Homogenize, blend in to the mix. Let your song, your purpose, lose its meaning and its potency. potency. Um, how can we sing our song in this strange land? Well, we cannot allow it to become unimportant. We cannot allow it to lose its potency. There's power in the blood. There's power in praise. There's power. This is how we overcome. <laughs> the, and the, this, is, uh, this is how we, uh, this is, I don't remember now. They're, they're brand new song, something like this is something. Um, in this strange land, we can't forget. They could not forget Jerusalem. Jerusalem was was their homeland. Jerusalem was was their uh, their who they were. They were they were from Jerusalem. They were Judah uh, from Judah, and so we cannot forget who we are. Um, Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So we're, we're to be in the world, but not of the world. We, we are a part of it. This world is not our home. We're just passing through. The, 
Our worship is not entertainment. It is a free will offering. Uh, nobody is making us do it. This is the way I choose to be. The old song used to, this is how I choose to live. Uh, our preaching is not entertainment. It, it's teaching of God's word. It's, it's the uh, conveying of God's heart to his people. It may look weird. It may sound weird. You know, you get some guy up there and he's kind of got double chins and they're shaking and he's going and running and sweating and, you know, and we do that when we get an anointing, we get excited and we're preaching and we're kicking up our heels and I'll spin and do different things, jump up and down. All these kind of things happen. It may look weird and it may sound weird. It can look abrasive, it can, or excessive, it can be, but it can be contagious. It can be anointed with such a passion, such a power that, that it's stirring hearts and increasing lives. And people are looking, there's people out there looking for something from God. And when they're, when they're encountering God, they're encountering this anointing. And this, this power through preaching and through your worship and through your exaltation and through your testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may not be in your building any longer. And we may not be within the walls of the church, but we have not forgotten who we are. We may be on the element of Facebook and on live stream or, or uh, the different ways, the, the drive-in uh, drive-in church that we have. Those different things may uh, be awkward looking. This is, a, I saw a great preacher just yesterday doing a, a little deal, uh, like an advertisement type thing. And he looks so uncomfortable. And I felt for him because I know exactly what he was feeling. It's not the normacy. It, but once he began to talk about the Lord, that switched because he then became in that. He wasn't doing an advertisement. He wasn't doing an announcement any longer. He was preaching. And that be, that passion began to roll out of him. You could see it. His face, his, his demeanor changed. He got back into the element that he was in. And we, we feel uncomfortable because we're not in the element. But Jesus told us to go, to go, preach the gospel. Get out of your comfort zone. Get outside of the box. Get outside of the, of the church building and take it to the streets. They got filled with the Holy Ghost in an upper room, but it spilled out into the street. There needs to be a, such an anointing on us. God has forced us out of the buildings into a medium that we're unfamiliar with. But as long as we'll allow the anointing to flow, as long as we we'll allow the move of God to begin to happen, then these things can can begin to happen. And this this is uh, this is a song, and uh, this is some preaching, and it may be a strange place, but I'm going to do it for the Lord. And it's not going to stop me because I'm not in front of uh, some sure SM58s. I'm not going to stop because I don't have good monitor. I'm going to, I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing, uh, not because I've got amens. I have no amens in the room right now, but I've got a passion. The Holy Ghost is moving. The Holy Ghost is stirring. The Holy Ghost is guiding. And this particular message won't be one that just falls on ears for half an hour and then is and soon forgotten. Come Wednesday, next Wednesday, nobody will remember what I even preached. But because it's recorded and it's going out there, it, it'll be on YouTube. We've got a YouTube channel full of preaching. And those, those things will continue to be on there for years and years and years and years to come. Um, and we've got our app now. And we're, 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 we're doing that. And, and hopefully we, we won't continue to be weird to a person who watches us over and over. They're not making memes of us and making fun of us, but they're saying, man, there's something happening within the realm of where they're at. And I've got to get into there. 
that when those, uh, when those taskmasters were there, they felt that song. They could, they could connect with that song. And they go, whoa, wait a minute. I feel something there. Would you sing that again? Now, it was uncomfortable for the Hebrews to sing it because they were out of their element. They did not take the Spirit of God with them. They only had the Spirit of God on rare occasions even visit with them. Oh, it dwells within me. It dwells within me. And I can take it with me. It can guide me from the point A to point B, lead me down highways and and corridors and alleys to places and needs. The, the people that sit at home in their chairs and God says go to a hospital and they make their way to a hospital to pray and, and deliver somebody out of their trouble. I'm trusting God to continue to open up pathways so that the church in this great gospel message can reach more people. Hallelujah. Because the gospel brings peace and life and hope. Hallelujah. It helps us stand. It helps us live and be courageous. Israel needed to get back to Jerusalem. The church has been sent. The church has been sent. We will sing our song, but not for you, but for him. We'll preach our messages, not as entertainment for you, but for him. We've got an audience of one. There may be 500 people in the church singing with all their might, but there should be singing only to one, the Almighty God, because we're entertaining the Most High. We've come into this place, and if I can sing with 500 to one, then I can sing one to one whether I'm all by myself or not. In a room empty, I can begin to sing and praise the Lord. I can begin to lift my voice to the Lord. I can begin to sing, oh, he's been good to me. He's my redeemer. He's my help. He's my strength. There's nobody like the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, how about one of them? I've got a new song. I got a new song unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. The song of the redeemed. A song of praise. Hallelujah. Oh, it's within me. It's stirred up within me. There's a hunger in my heart to sing it for the Lord. There's something that builds up within me that wants to give it out to God. To praise Him. To magnify Him. To lift up the Lord most high, righteous, and holy. There's no one like the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come, let us sing. Let us rejoice. Come, let us sing. Let us rejoice. For Messiah's come, and he brought life, and he brought laughter into my soul. Oh, come, let us sing. Let us rejoice. Come, let us sing. Let us rejoice. Messiah's come and he brought life and he brought laughter into my soul. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I pray that right now you will stand to your feet and you will sing a new song unto the Lord. You say, well, I don't know a new song. Well, sing an old song unto the Lord. I don't care. Just sing. Use your voice. Lift up your hands and magnify the Lord. I dare you, double dog dare you, to get up on your feet and magnify the Lord and praise him with all your heart. Hallelujah. Oh, dance around the room if you would. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because of God, the Redeemer, the help, the strength, the peace, the God of all righteousness. Hallelujah. Is with you. Praise God. He's not forgotten you. He knows exactly where you're at. In your bondage. Praise God. One of these days, you're going to be coming home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to be coming back out of your trouble. Praise the Lord. And you're going to be your mouth filled with laughter and your tongue with singing. <laughs> and the heathen's going to say, the Lord has done great things for them. He has done great things for us. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. God bless you. Nothing out of you made you no good. Mechanically, 
separated turkey heat and the dogs. give you dreams, make you feel like you're floating away. <laughs> Such a great day. And you made hay. Why? <laughs> My hair is looking evil. I feel it. It turns giving me. I completely, completely butchered it, like the entire time. Like, I did that wrong. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh. Get a chance to play. Hi. Why is she doing this so much all of a sudden? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I didn't know why Andrew me. And when we started singing, I mean, like, you take like a ah! It's recording. It is recording? Yeah, well, we can cut that out if we're listening to it. Why are you going to cut it? Come on. I'm going to get my coffee.